Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Andy Neat is back in the news again, probably more than he has ever been in his life. After the crash at Fruxton, he was subject to a lot of criticism, both for the crash and for lying for the reason for the crash. He said mechanical fault when actually he just forgot to brake. Blaming his mechanics instead of just taking it on the chin was a bad move that has not endeared himself to motorsport fans, even after his fellow racers forgave him. So let's discuss Mr. Neat, Jess Hawkins and the future of Andy Neat's race seat. Remember to subscribe, we are getting so close to 400. Really want to hit it this month. I'd really appreciate it. So we all know what happened. Andy Neat steamed into the first corner at Fruxton, collecting Glyn Geddy who rolled, as well as Jade Edwards who also retired, and there was a lot of damage and luckily no injuries, except to maybe Andy Neat's pride. There was a backlash from BTCC fans, and now Andy Neat is sitting out of the Snitherton round. I don't know for sure if it's because of Twitter or annoying unknown YouTubers, or if there is maybe something else like a family matter, but no Andy Neat at Snetterton. Instead, we have Jessica Hawkins, who Andy Neat has essentially gifted the seat to. Jessica was one of the drivers who made her debut in the British Touring Cars for Paramax Vauxhall in 2020. She didn't score any points, but didn't cause any trouble, already putting her above Andy Neat. They seem to have a connection, so it is nice of him to get her involved in the BTCC, and it'll be interesting to see how she does for the works forward entry. She'll also be gearing up for the start of the 2021 W Series after a tough first campaign all the way back in 2019. Jessica Hawkins could be a top contender in 2021 in the W Series and this run in the British Touring Cars is a nice warm up. As for Neat, if he does come back, hopefully the rest of the year will be quiet. But I'm glad for Jessica Hawkins and with Jade Edwards on the grid also, it means there are two women lining up in a British Touring Car race for the first time since 1989 when Louise Aitken Walker and Netham Lingram lined up on the grid. Hell, give Esme Hawkins a wildcard entry and we could have three women on the grid at the same time for the first time ever. We've come a long way from the sporadic drives for Paula Cook, Annie Templeton and Fiona Leggett. Andy Neat has been receiving a lot of criticism lately. I think some of it might have been deleted because I can no longer find some of it. He is not a popular man right now and it's probably a good shout to take a weekend off. This way he can take a breath and hide for a bit and Jessica Hawkins gets another run out in a touring car, but beyond that Neat will return and do nothing, whilst a lot of good up and coming drivers can't find race seats, like Jack Constable who is now the development driver for Paramax. He could have Neat's seat, and he could coach him. And it's not news now that Andy Neat's son Aiden has made his debut in the French Formula 4 series. He did pretty good in the first three races at Nagaro, just off the podium but it looks like he struggled more at Magni Core. It's too early to say, but it looks like he could be a step up from Daddy Dearest. Maybe we will see him rise to the ranks of Formula 1 someday. In other BTCC news, Senna Proctor is going to take the second BTC racing seat for the rest of 2021. It's a shame Dan Kamish isn't hanging around. I think he's good enough to be champion, and I still don't know why he left Team Dynamics, but it'll be interesting to see what Kamish does for the rest of 2021. As for Proctor, it was always a shame that he couldn't find a space on the grid for 2021. He is good enough to be there. He's a former race winner and did okay in Hyundai's first season. He is another who is much better than his dad and hopefully he can have a good season that leads to a top drive in the future. The second round of the British Touring Cars at Snetterton is this weekend. It was a good first round at Fruxton and I can't wait to see what happens at the next round. Already the grid has shifted and changed. That just makes it more exciting, right? We are heading towards 400 subscribers, so I would be thrilled if you could hit that magic red button. This channel has come so far in a year. I really want to keep the momentum going, so hit that button now. Leave a like and a comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.